Hi there, welcome back to your Petros Review. In this episode, Alien Predator. No, nothing to do with Alien Predator franchises. It's another song mockbuster, as you can see. Hi there, welcome back to your Petros Review. Your guide to the wild world of science fiction, action, and horror cinema. Me, your host, Milo Sipka. If you want to spam the name, just look at the channel. <laughs> now, there's basically awesome film reviews, delivered to layman's understanding, by a guy who looks like a scary bastard. Me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, Tofil is in lockdown, and, and to, well into the second month of lockdown. <laughs> so for those who are stuck at time, doing nothing but watching, well, I'll do you quite a show. Now in this episode, we'll look at the film Alien Predator, which is an asylum mockbuster from 2018. In fact, it actually came out on September 11, 2018. Yeah, <laughs> three days before the... Um, before Shane Black's Predator 4 came out, and which are, this is a mockbuster of. Now, if you want to look at the DVD, it's actually a from Better Films, which is an Australian label. I'll get into that later. Now, now this was directed by Jared Cohn, uh, written by Bill Henstock and produced by David Michael Latt, who's the pretty much the head honcho of Asylum Films. Yes, it's from the Asylum. <laughs> Now, another of the Asylum's mockbusters, this time from 2018, and made the cash-in to rip off the Lux of the Predator, Alien Predator is nothing more than a cheap, shot and digital shittier crap fest that, like all of the Asylum's works, has fooled quite a few suckers into purchasing it, thinking they were getting something that made the official Alien or Predator franchises. Of course, the cover for this one doesn't look like the typical Asylum cover art, cover art that those who have seen more than a couple of these will be able to pick out at 20 paces, instead looking almost respectable because they've kind of changed their design a little bit <laughs> over the past decade. While fighting insurgents in Honduras, a team of US Black Ops soldiers are diverted from the fighting to investigate reports of a strange aircraft crashing to a nearby building. And while investigating, are suddenly and brutally wiped out by an unknown force. Adrian, a US Black Ops soldier, decides to go on a rescue mission, but has to do so without his command's authorization. So he assembles a team of comrades, including a technician who suffers from PTSD and who has access to high-tech equipment, basically a Star Trek tricolor built onto a cell phone. They head to the site, only to find bodies blown apart and an enemy soldier strapped to a tree with his guts exposed, which actually looks like a big chunk of beef. Soon enough, they come under attack from purple laser beams and promptly decimated. It seems that an alien spacecraft is taking a wrong turn and crashing into the local building. The alien soldiers then start heading out to find a way to fix their ship, and also provide protection for their master by attacking the humans. Alien Predator is a film that will pretty damn much offend anyone who bought the DVD thinking they were getting something set in the official Alien vs Predator series. Big mistake. I personally recognize this as an asylum from before I bought the damn thing. The DVD cost about 15 bucks and I figured I could buy it as a form of masochistic enjoyment. And yes, I am a bad movie masochist. I love good films, but I love bad films too. <laughs> and soon enough managed to laugh my way through this unholy sucker. Remember, I watched eight of those early Lamar films. <laughs> for, for example, one of the human soldiers, and you'll see this in the thumbnail for this uh, index picture for this video, if you look at his head, has war paint that consists of a thick black line drawn around his cranium and one even thicker line drawn right up, straight up, which has the unfortunate effect of making his bald head look like the head of a penis. <laughs> At a distance. <laughs> I laughed my ass off when I saw that. The dialogue consists solely of nonsensical foreign military double talk that will make any real soldier scratch their heads in confusion. There's lines like, the plan is the plan, delivered to the elegance of a mouthful of shit, and the acting is staggeringly unconvincing. The weapons the soldiers use, which were pretty much very diverse as weapons, I mean, I've never seen a military unit having that kind of mix of weapons, are almost convincing as replica weapons, or for the leader's assault rifle, has a security camera plonked onto it to resemble a scope. You can see the blinking red light at the front of the scope, which gives it away. The soldiers' uniforms also are astoundingly inconsistent to be members of the same squad, which, along with the fake weapons, obviously shows that the asylum never seems to get its facts right. Research is critical for movies like this. The visual effects are somewhat better than the previous asylum films, but aside from some decent looking alien bodysuits, which look like Robocop's alien cousins, <laughs> the 
the CGI is pretty much in abundance here. They also use the technique of making CGI bullets for the fake M249 machine gun that one of the soldiers is using. During that soldier's last moments, you can see the ammo belt on this squad automatic weapon being clean CGI. Although the bullets move so fast that not even watching the thing on slow mo can discern which way they're going. For the cherry on the rotten cake, the film ends on the, with the PTSD suffering tech expert being the only survivor and allowed to leave after killing an alien soldier in such a way that the leader is impressed enough to telepathically explain to him they didn't come here to fight, thus ending the battle on the draw of a truce and Mr. PTSD standing outside watching as the alien ship flies off to the intergalactic battlefield they were originally heading for. Personally, I was convinced this is a terrible movie, and it's terrible enough for the D minus rung on my grading ladder, which is 1 out of 10. Really wretched movie. But anyone who loves getting masochistic things from awful movies will need to get this as this is Primo Shitfest Laugh Right Fuel. <laughs> Now for gore nudity. There's plenty of gore, with people getting CGI guts blown out of them. And while there's no actual nudity, that soldier with the war paint making his bald head look like have a penis is about as close as you can get to best skin. It is very funny. <laughs> Especially if notice it. The pair of female soldiers also demonstrate their badassery by making jokes about shitting their pants. <laughs> as for the DVD, this was, along with just about any every asylum movie since the rental market, was released into Region 4 by Vendetta Films. A label also responsible for a few independent horror releases, and even putting out the box set with the entire Wreck series, you know, the Spanish uh, zombie films, in one package. As for Alien Predator, the 178 to anamorphic widescreen ratio is very nice. Indeed, too nice, given you can use the high detail to examine the props and set more attention to notice the flaws in the production. It kind of makes the goof stand out. But for those who like this film, there's bound to be some of them out there. This disc, even though there's no subtitles or supplemental features on it, will be satisfactory for them. Also a pretty choice for the silent masochists and the bad movie cult. <laughs> so Alien Predator gets a D-1 out of 10. It's terrible. But if you're a bad movie masochist, this... This is, <laughs> this is going to be amusing. <laughs> hmm. But you have to be an asylum fan to love this stuff. <laughs> okay, that's it for Alien Predator. Now... Don't I'll, I'll get the actual Alien Predator films on this show one day. We'll see how long that'll take. <laughs> yeah. Now, Fairfield is pretty much in still in lockdown. It's like in the seventh month or so. <sighs> Sucks. But there's only one way out of it to vaccinate. <laughs> of course, the Labour Party is asking for the government to put $300 payment for anyone who's vaccinated, which is a bullshit idea. It's ridiculous. That won't work. That's typical labor. Anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe. Enjoy yourselves and see ya. See you next time, which is probably another three days.